Barbell Brock from Rock Hills, USD 107. I've been teaching for 32 years now. Uh, when I received this award, I found out I received it. It was in the middle of February, March, and that's right in the middle of solo and small ensemble contests, getting ready for concerts. So it was sort of pretty busy, and it sort of made me stop and think about uh, 32 years of teaching and what had happened since day one till now and, and the changes. It made me feel pretty proud that I'd stayed in through the thick and the thin parts of it, just stuck to it. Um, and it gave me sort of a, just a little boost at that point in time to look at what is, what do I need to do to keep going and what's going to happen in the next five, ten years that I'm teaching and what can I change, changes can I make to my classroom. Uh, what advice would I give to new teachers? And I thought about this one for a while. There's a lot of stuff in education I've seen, we've all seen in the last 30 years. Different things, there's Madeline Hunter, there's Boys Town, there's Common Core, there's QPA as Effective Teacher, uh, there's Classroom Instruction that works on and on and on. There's different, different programs. But none of it works if you can't do the minute by minute in your classroom. Uh, so my advice to new teachers is learn to breathe. Um, there's going to be times that will take your breath away. Maybe it's just the amazement of, or fear that you just have to sort of take a breath. There's going to be times when you need to just take a big breath and calm down before you speak and act. Uh, there's going to be times that you are so moved that it just sort of takes your breath away and you have to catch your breath. And times you're near the end of your rope or just at the end of your day and you need to just stop and take a breath. And sometimes you just need to take a breath to dive in at the beginning of the day. And sometimes you just need to walk out and take a breath. So my advice is just learn to breathe. And my most memorable moment in teaching in 32 years, and I, my first response to this question was like, really? 32 years, how many kids, how many times have we done things, gone places? I, it, it's, not, it's not just the educational moments, it's the life moments, it's, it's what you see with them, what they show you, uh, the, the fun moments, the scary moments, I guess, my most memorable moments, one of them I have to pick out if I have to pick out one. I had this kid and I had him from fifth grade on. He and I went round and round. Uh, we'd always work it out at the end, but we visited the principal's office a few times. Uh, I had him in church. He was one of my CCD students, so I knew him outside of school. And after he graduated, he was going into the Army, basic training. Uh, he came back from basic training or saw him at a football game. About six months later, he was just on leave. He came up, he gave me a great big hug and just thanked me for being, for just staying with him and believing in him. And I guess that would, that's what we all need to hear and that would be my most memorable.